Hey everybody, it's the Mad Master here. I'm doing this do a video today, and this is a controversial. Oh, I'm still a little bit sick, by the way, as my one of my previous videos. That may be up or not after this or before this. I don't know. So I'm a little dazed and stuff. So just pardon the sweat and a little dizzy, but I'm quickly recovering, by the way. So I'm gonna say. So this is what this video is about. Um, it is about the black pill incel movement and a lot of these new right wing uh, ideas that are promulgating our culture. Because I'm just gonna admit here, I watch a lot of right wing channels. I watch Lotus Eaters, Six Hexenhammer, Six Six Six, um, Romanian V, but he is a little better than some of those, um, you know, stuff like that. So. I also used to watch Better Bachelor before he became total cringe and just recycled the same stuff over and over again. We are bad! Yeah. You know. Um, so I watch a lot of this stuff and they talk about trad wives and stuff like that sometimes. And, you know. And this, this social conservatism is, is making a comeback in some of these scenes and movements. And I'm not very happy about it because I'm more of a libertarian. I'm more of a libertine. I don't know if I'm polyamorous. Um, I don't know, because I've made fun of it a lot, so I probably shouldn't say that I am, but you know, I, I, I'm open to different things, you know? I'm open to different things. I like the idea of open relationship versus polyamorous, because you have that image, just the word polyamorous, of the 500 pound woman, you know, that has these nerdy guys that are around her, like those pictures, you know, you see this meme come about. But I'm gonna talk about this, and this is something that really bothers me because what happened was there was a Romanian V video about this girl that told her uh, husband that she had been with 80 guys and done a porn flick or something. And he was mad and wanted, and they had a kid together and stuff like this. And some of the comments, and I mean, I'm just gonna say Romanian V had a pretty good opinion about it, in my opinion. But some of the comments were attacking him and saying all this stupid, crap about his take on it because his was pretty nuanced he's actually a pretty nuanced guy from a guy that's probably a little bit more on the right than i believe in but you know it's, it's like taro warwick i like his eccentricities and stuff and he talks i don't like his trump stuff really that much but i mean i think it's funny sometimes like the i did buy orange man big and i thought it was hilarious because so i think all of them deserve scorn every politician so <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to talk about this whole concept that came up in the comments of a body count of this uh, Romanian V video. Now, I haven't been with as many women as I wanted to, especially growing up. Um, I'm not going to give my number on this video. <laughs> I will say it is over five, so... <laughs> That's because this ties in to what they're saying in this in this video. So the problem with this uh, take is like, oh, a woman, a uh, woman who has there, there's some guy on the comments. He's like, a woman, I would not trust a woman that's been with more than five men. All right, so you're you're actually really being disingenuous here, and like if you watch Sex in the City, the old show, you know, in the two thousands and stuff. Those guys, those girls, girls, women, go through probably about 25 men in the whole series. Like, I think all of them do, like, a similar number. Maybe not as many, but a, a pretty high number. Maybe Samantha had 50, but, like, Sarah Jessica Parker's character, whoever the fuck, I forgot her name. Maybe she had 25 and Charlotte had 15 or something, right? So... It's just, it's a really stupid thing, uh, gauge of judging people by, or women, because it, it doesn't go into a lot of things that can go into a person's lifestyle or their, their ideas of how to live life, because they, people can change, for one. Now, I will say that 80 is excessive. Okay, that's fine, you know. Two of the girls that I dated said, basically, that they were slut, sluts at one point. Um, not the girl of the previous video, by the way, that most likely got, you know, I'm not going to, God, I can't believe I released that. 
I may take it down, but anyways, I'm not going to say what video that is. It's a secret video. Um, that probably wasn't from her, the, one of these girls. It could have been. The time lapse didn't seem right, though. So, unfortunately, it probably was a very special one, <laughs> as people have said. Um, so, this whole idea is, and I'm very sensitive to stuff, that's the problem. I get every kind of skin condition there is. I, most people probably are asymptomatic from everything that's out there. I'm not, I get everything with the, with that particular subject. I My head blew up when I used hair dye last. I looked like the elephant man. I had to go to the hospital. I mean, or ER, I had to go to ER. I didn't go to the hospital, but you know, stay in the hospital. But you know, it's like everything is affects me with that stuff. So anything, anything in any way it affects me. But anyways, so this concept of the, bo the body count is just utterly um, retro, uh, retroactively like regressive, I'm going to say. And it's not like I want a girl that's been with 80 guys, you know. I think my ex had probably been with, she never told me. Um, and there's girls that I've been with that have said I don't remember how many guys I've been with. I mean... And then there was one that said nine, one that said six, it probably double that number, you know, whatever. You know, it's most, and many of my friends have been with 15, 30, you know, relatives have been with 30 or 40, you know, 15, maybe, maybe five or six, a few of them, you know, oh, well, they're the ones that have their shit together. No, they've been through divorces. It's not, so the whole, the whole idea, the whole uh, mentality of these guys is like, the perfect trad wife, I will meet her, I'm a virgin at 45, and I'm going to meet this trad, or 35, or whatever, and I'm going to meet this trad wife and we won't have any problems. It's like this ideology of uh, this uh, na naivete that they have, these incels and stuff, or as soon as they have their looks maxing taken care of or whatever, and... It's not, the real world doesn't work that way. I'm sorry, buddy. A girl may have, okay, maybe she has three partners in high school, right? I'm just gonna give a, your average normal girl of, let's say a rating above six. Maybe she's a 10, maybe she's a nine, eight, seven. She's above six, you know, by the traditional rating scale. She's not super obese. She has a good face, blah, 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 you know, effeminate in, you know, at least like presenting herself, blah, 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 and pop, you know, sociable, stuff like that. So she's, let's say she has three guys, three boyfriends in high school, you know, one of them cheats on her, the other guy, it's a short term, like rebound relationship. And then the third guy was like more serious, but he like had to go to college in Europe or something. So they broke up. And then she has like a, she goes to college and she has like a one night stand the first day in her sorority or something or, you know. Okay, so we're already at four, right? If, if I'm counting right. All right. So then she dates another, so then she wants to be wild and with her sorority sisters and she gets drunk and has like two other guys in a year. Okay. So now we're at like six. Okay. All right. So... Then she dates a guy for six months. Now we're at seven. The average number of partners in a lifetime. Uh, I don't believe that at all. I think because Christianity kind of weighs it down. That's what I think. Like Christian conservatives and shit. So now we're at seven. Now we're... The, these commenters... Oh my god, she's such a slut. Oh, she's terrible. She'll ruin your life. Oh, all this misogyny. It's misogyny. I'm in a pickup artist shit, but I'm saying this for fuck's sake. You know what I mean? I think this is mis I think this is true misogyny from this perspective of like just hating women, like not wanting to sleep with them, just hating them, like actually fearing and hating them. That's what I'm saying. I'll do more videos about this. I don't give a fuck about my comments, like my make top video and stuff. I got some really bad, nasty comments about it. I don't care. I think it's funny. Anyways, so we have seven, okay? That's just, she's she's now a sophomore in college. So she dates another guy for seven months. He's like a frat boy, but he cheats on her. Or he's like, he lies to her about something. Maybe, 
you know, maybe she gets a disease or something. I don't know. So we're at eight, right? We're at eight guys. All right, so finally, she's dating someone else because women that are social and attractive have a lot of suitors. She dates this guy for eight months. And, you know, then they decide to move in together. And they move in for two years, but she, you know, he has like, or let's, I'm just, go, I'm blaming all the guys. I mean, obviously, a woman has a lot to do with this too, but in the, for these examples, I'm blaming the guy for this stuff that happens instead of her, which obviously it's, it's you know, it takes two and stuff, but I'm just saying in this, these examples, just it, for this, this uh, narrative I'm trying to push in this video. So, or I'm trying to explain this narrative and this type of thing. So, okay, so she lives with him for three months. She's gonna be a junior. She decides to break up with him because he plays video games and just drinks all the time and shit like that, right? And he almost drops out of college. You can call it, uh, what do they call it? Uh, hypergamy or whatever, but she wants a, a guy that's a little better, right? That's less lazy, okay? She wouldn't like me, but anyways, I don't care. Uh, so then, okay. So she tries to date a couple guys. She sleeps with one of them. So we're at nine, right? We're at nine. Then, um, let's say she kind of takes a little bit of a break, maybe a couple months. It's very hard for women. I'm just going to say women that are attractive, it's hard for them to take a break. Most women that I know in my life that I've known don't go a couple of months without a guy or a couple of weeks sometimes, especially when they're younger. This is just the way it goes. Serial monogamy is, is what is mainly exists in the, in the world or in the Western world. So then finally, six months out of college. Yeah, she dates a couple of guys. She sleeps with like one or two of them. Doesn't do it with anybody else. It just those tender one night stands. So we're at 11, right? And then she meets the man of her dreams, you know, uh, a year out of college. They get married. They, you know, have a child, you know, three or four years later. They're, he's successful and she is too or whatever, maybe, or whatever. So she's at about 12, right? Okay. And they get, okay. So eight years pass or five years or whatever. They get a divorce like a lot of people do. She dates around, she sleeps with another guy, just one guy, because she's a little more selective, a little more picky. She's like 28 now or 29 or whatever. She's hitting the wall, Raul Tomasi, uh, but Bill, uh. Uh, I just hate this shit. Um, so then she meets another guy and gets remarried. So we're at 13, okay? And then I'm not gonna go through the rest of it. You can just get the point. This is not reality having this idea that, oh, God, a girl, a girl that's been with more than five guys is problematic and she's a slut. Oh my God, I can't get laid, but I'm gonna blame women for everything in my problems. Fuck off, you know? It's so stupid. And this is real sexism. This is real misogyny. You know, me wanting to hit on girls half my age, I don't think that's real misogyny in the same way that this is. This is actual hatred of women. This is actually like, putting them in this category and thinking they're all sluts for liking sex because women like sex more than men, according to a lot of people. I mean, there's there's more uh, mechanics involved with that is what I mean, if you know what I mean. So it's so stupid. You know, she's had sex with 13 guys. Let's say a guy met her. One of these guys like, oh, I've been with four women. Uh, one was a hooker. Uh, one was my babysitter's, uh, or my sister's babysitter and she was 400 pounds and one girl felt sorry for me and then one was my nerdy girlfriend for uh, six months. Uh, this incel guy, right? And he meets this girl and they go on a date and he's like, how many girls, I gotta check your body count. I don't, I'm not gonna date anybody that's been with, le with more than five guys because they'll cheat on me and be a, they'll have a disease. Ugh. You're a fucking retard. I'm just gonna say it right out. You're a fucking moron piece of shit. Okay? If you're if you believe this shit, I just gave you a whole sequence of events 
that has very plausibly happened many times. Yeah, maybe 80s, a little excessive, you know, it's like girl gets wild and gets like to be an alcoholic for a year at, at 22 and then she goes, you know, maybe she goes to rehab. Are you going to just blame her, you know, everything on her past? Like say, oh, well, I can't be with someone that used to be, you know, what are, what are they going to do? What are you going to do? I know people, I've known people that have been married like almost like 18, 20 years. The girl had a past, you know, and I've known, you know, that I've known women that are, you know, just continue to do that throughout their lives. I've known men that do that throughout their lives. You know, I've met, known men that get all like hung up on one woman, but then they continually have these serial monogamous relationships. I've known all sorts of different species of uh, situations. So, I mean, <laughs> this whole, this whole idea that a woman's body count really matters that much. Like it matters a little bit. I, th I think it's moronic and don't be a hypocrite and say, I want to, I want to bang a hundred girls, but a woman's been with more than five. They're, they're terrible. You're a hypocrite. And maybe there are different, you know, mechanistics of, or, you know, sit, you know, things about those situations, you know, about men and women that are different, obviously. And I'll acknowledge that. But but to say that is just so moronically stupid. You know, I don't know how many, I mean, when this guy said, and these, these guys, there were several people in these comments talking about the five women or five men thing with these women. I don't know how old these guys are. They sound like they're 14 or something. Okay. Thinking this kind of stuff. But like, it's extremely naive to think that a woman that you would probably be, these guys would probably be attracted to in the first place that has been with more than, you know, it, you know, that, that they haven't been with more than like three, three to five men, you know, in their lifetime. And there's women that are a little more reserved about their sexuality or a little bit more prudish, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Have at it, Hoss. Go ahead and find those women. Modern times after feminism and after all this stuff. Maybe you want your trad wife that votes, you know, MAGA or whatever. I mean, that's your fucking choice, but you're going to limit yourself. You're going to be in cell probably for a long time. If you, if that's all you're looking for, if that's what you're looking for, like this, this mythical trad wife. And I believe people have sex more than they say a lot of the time too. And this is, this, this is part of the, maybe the misogyny, misogynist part of my worldview. But I think people lie. But I mean, women lie in a different way than men some of the time. As a lot of behavioral psychologists or you know, analysts would say. So I think that women probably snuck around a little more than you know when they give their body count. That just happens. And when, but modern times, you're gonna, are you going to really hold these arbitrary standards over the head of these women who could evolve in life if they're with and they're with you? If they commit to you, do you think that you... Now, that was one problem with one of my previous relationships. Actually, my most previous relationship. Because she had been with a lot of guys. I know she was. She admitted it. But it's like, she's with me now. She later fucked a midget. That's about, you know, that's neither here nor there, I guess. But that's about all. <laughs>